of course, has been, um, it, what a surprise, right? So, that gross, like, you know, 117 million or something. I know a lot of you have seen it out there, so, um, give me your opinion on it. Because I've heard, you know, both. Um, that it was really bad and that it was really creepy and good. So, what did y'all think if you went? Lori, I, did you went and saw it last night, didn't you? Did you see it? I heard some uh, mixed reviews on it. It's either they loved it or they hated it. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> there was no really in between. There was no... Um, no in between. You either loved or hated it. So, tell me what you thought. Okay. Another, uh, a bunch of movies opening today, as a matter of fact. We have American Assassin, Mother, which looked really good. That has Jennifer Lawrence in it. We'll get to that. Brad Status, um, First They Killed My Father, Strong Island, uh, The Force. So, um, let's go to American Assassin real quick. That opened today. Let's see what they have to say about it. Mother looked really good, though. What movie for what, honey? Okay, American Assassin. The critics, uh, this is with Rotten Tomatoes, of course. I love them. They're great. Um, they only gave it a 36%. And the consensus is, um, hits a few easy targets but not enough style or wit to truly bring its characters to life. Um, and it doesn't really stand out in a big, wide field of uh, spy movies, which there's a lot of. Um, it follows the rise of Mitch Rapp, who's Dylan O'Brien, a CIA black ops recruit, um, under the instruction of Cold War veteran, played by Michael Keaton. Now, Michael Keaton's good, but I'm not... I saw... Their uh, previews for this movie, they didn't look bad, but, you know, it's on the line of Sniper and, oh, that's from Carrie. It was from Carrie, Lori. Yeah. So, there you go. Um, so, it, it's on the line of all those. Uh, it's nothing uh, original, so to speak. I didn't think we have a lot of those um, coming up. Oh, and the sad news. Um, why they're gonna? They're talking about remaking Jaws. Are you kidding me? Leave these movies alone, okay? Freaking crazy. Yeah, he does look good. Michael Keaton does look good. Yeah, he does. Um, but they they want to remake Jaws. Really, come up with some original ideas, guys. Quit fooling with the um, classics, okay? That is a classic. Um, what did you think of it, Lori? Let me know. My daughter saw it. She said, uh, that it was as creepy as all get out. Um, there were some changes, but, uh, she said, of course, uh, de uh, devil's in the details. But again, um, that it was kind of updated. They're kids in the eighties instead of adults. So, um, but I'm hopefully going to see it Wednesday. I'm not off till then. So that's why, um, what does mother remind you of? Oh, I don't know. Um, anyway, it's 70% with Rotten Tomatoes. Good, good, good. Yeah, you liked it. I thought you did. Um, critics with mother. Um, it's thought provoking product of an ambitious artistic vision. Uh, although mainstream, you know, maybe. Not uh, mainstream enough for some people. Uh, yeah, well, no. 
Of, of course not. I didn't think it would be like the book, though. Um, okay, a couple's, this is Mother. Jennifer Lawrence, um, Javier Bardem, Ed Harris, love Ed Harris, of course. Michelle Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer Brian Gleason, good names in this one. Um, it's a couple's relationship is Tessa when uninvited guests arrive at their home, disrupting their existence. Um, that's a interesting, uh, yeah, Rosemary's Baby, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's kind of creepy, people just coming over your house randomly. That's creepy. Um, so that looks like a good one to see, and I'm so looking forward to um, um, next week uh, when um, The Kingsman uh, comes out, the new one. Oh, I love that movie. That was such a good movie, and that um, it looks like the second one's going to be just as good. So, Brad Status, that's a new one that came out today. Um, we'll get to it right away. Talk a little about that. There's a bunch of them that are coming out. Next week looks really good for movies. This week, um, not so much. Brad Status, although Rotten Tomatoes gives it 82%. Um, and the critics say it transcends its familiar premise with insightful observations and affecting interplay between Ben Stiller and Austin Abrams. Um, and the movie's about when Brad Sloan, Ben Stiller, accompanies his college-bound son to the East Coast. The visit triggers a crisis of confidence in Brad's status. Uh, writer and director Mike White's bittersweet comedy. Um, Brad has a satisfying career and comfortable life in suburban Sacramento, where... He lives with his sweet-natured wife, Melanie, and their musical prodigy son, Troy. But it's not quite what he imagined during his college glory days. So, that looks kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm just I'm just not into those. Yeah, The Mountain Between Us, Idris Elba, is going to be coming up. That looks freaking awesome. Yeah, we couldn't think of the name of it the other night. So, um, The Mountain Between Us looks really good. Um, another one that came out today, The First They Killed My Father. Now, Rotten Tomatoes gives that an 88%. So, interesting. Yeah, um, The Mountain Between is Idris Elba. So, that looked really, really good. So, we shall see what they come up with with that. The previews look fantastic for that. So, um, again, Rotten Tomatoes gives First They Killed My Father 88%. Um, critics haven't said anything about it yet. Um, Angelina Jolie directed this movie about a human rights activist and her attempts to survive during the oppressive Khmer Rouge era of rule in Cambodia. Um, now me, I'm not into those type movies, but apparently other people are. Rotten Tomatoes gives it an 88%. So, um... I can't even pronounce the names that are in it. So, uh, the critics may like it, but not my cup of tea. Um, other people out there, they may like it. You guys may like it. I don't know. Um, Strong Island is another one that came out today. And Rotten Tomatoes gives this one 100%, guys. Uh, Strong Island. Uh, no critic. Uh, said anything about it yet. Um, the movie's in April 1992 on Long Island, New York. William Jr., the Ford's eldest son, a black 24-year-old teacher, was killed by Mark Riley, a white 19-year-old mechanic. Although Ford was unarmed, he became the prime suspect in his own murder. Uh, Yance Ford Chronicles, The Ark of... Um, of his family across history, geography, and tragedy. From the racial segregation of the Jim Crow South to the promise of New York City, and from the presumed safety of middle-class suburbs to the maelstrom of the unexpected and violent death. It's a story of the Ford family and their children, how their lives were shaped by the enduring shadow of racism in America. Okay, that's Strong Island. Um, yeah, I'm sure it has a good message for it. <coughs> I don't know about the timing of it coming out. 
I don't know. That's me. Um, there's a couple other ones coming out. I'm just going to name a few others because uh, most of them I have not seen anything on. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we have woodpeckers. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 78%. So, and no critic thing. And this is about love can spring up in the most unlikely places. And the new film, Woodpeckers, tells one such tale of illicit and slow boil attraction. Okay. I don't know about that. I, I, <laughs> some of these movies, you know, it's like, please come up with something new. No, I didn't think it was good timing for Strong Island. So, uh, Rat Film. That's another one that came out today. Um, Rotten Tomatoes gets it 94%. So, yeah, I'm not going to be on a whole lot long so Chris can get on. You know, working late, this is what happens. So, uh, Rat Film. Rotten Tomatoes gives it 94%. No critic commentary yet. Uh, the movie's about across walls, fences, and alleys. Rats not only expose our boundaries of separation, but make homes in them. Rat film is a feature-length documentary that uses the rat, as well as the humans that love them, live with them, and kill them. Okay. Um. <laughs> to explore the history of Baltimore, there's never been a rat problem in Baltimore. It's always been a people problem. I don't know if I wanted, I would want to see a movie about, a documentary about rats. No, thank you. Why would, um, I don't know. So, not some real good films out this week. Uh, Mother looks good. <laughs> That's about the only one I would go see. Um, so, uh, you know, take your choice on that. You know, that's up to your tastes and such. But, um, I, <laughs> um, not a good list, uh, I don't think, but that's me. Okay. The top box, box office movies. Um, actually, the, I wanted to talk about, uh, bring one up. Hitman's Bodyguard. Let look really good, uh, with, um, Samuel Jackson and, um, Ryan Reynolds, that looked really good. I'd like to see that. Okay. It, of course, was number one. And it's number one this week also. Yeah, no, thank you. Me either. No, I don't want to see a movie a documentary about rats. Thanks. Um, it is number one for two weeks. Woohoo! Um, so, what does that tell you? Absolutely. Home Again. That's the one with Reese Witherspoon. That's number two. Again, I just talked about Hitman's Bodyguard. It was number one last week. Or um, Yeah. And it's number three this week. Hitman's Bodyguard. That is what Samuel Jackson and Ryan Reynolds. And it looks fantastic. Annabelle Creation. Um, number four. And I'd really like to see that. Did you see that, Laurie? Annabelle Creation. Anybody see it? I want to see that. Um, number five, Wind River. Number six is Leap. And Leap, I did write some info about that down. Leap. Uh, critics, um, it say it's a bland story. Um, unremarkable animation does little to distinguish itself from a long list of like-minded movies. Friendly Family-friendly alternative movies. It's about an 11-year-old orphan. Um, Felicia has one dream, to go to Paris and become a dancer. And her best friend, her best friend Victor, he's an imaginative but exhausting boy with a dream of his own to become a famous inventor. In a leap of faith, they leave their orphanage and pursue their passions. And they're saying, no, not, not that great, okay? Um, in the world of animation, that it's not really up to standards, okay? Uh, number seven is Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay, it was seven last week also, so, yeah. Um, 
Dunkirk. Now that's been out for eight weeks.